fans are making a lot of noise at AT&T Stadium. Anything that moves between these lines, gotta get dealt with. They hand it to Pollard, he comes running out the right side. Deep to the post to Lamb, at the five, to the goal line. Dallas Cowboys Game Night is presented by AT&T, the official 5G innovation partner of the Dallas Cowboys. Miller Lite, the only beer of the Cowboys. It's Miller time. And by NFL Game Pass. You'll never miss a game again. Enjoy full and condensed game replays from week one to the Super Bowl. AT&T Stadium in Arlington was rocking in week seven as the Dallas Cowboys pull away late to take down the Detroit Lions 24 to six. The final score. The Cowboys hold the Lions out of the end zone. The first time this elite defense in Dallas has done so to an opponent here in the 2022 season. Welcome in the Cowboys game night. Everybody from the star in Frisco with the six time Pro Bowler and three time Super Bowl champ Nate Newton. I'm Kyle Yeomans. Glad you're with us and Nate, you start with the defense when you talk about a game like this. You hold the Lions out of the end zone. This was a team that was third in the NFL in scoring. They're coming off of a bye week. They had two weeks weeks to prep, and then they still couldn't find pay dirt. Oh, man, nah. uh, Parsons in the game one here. Man, they all played well. I mean, Marcus Lawrence, uh, the names. Uh, we got a new guy that's adding to the party. Sam Williams came to play. Uh, uh, Wilson came up and got a sack. So it was a sack party on the quarterback today. Kept him out of the end zone. They did a great job. This defense, boy, once they stop the run, they will be complete. And of course, Dak Prescott making his return as well. But it really was the defense that stole the show, and they did so starting early. The defense has ruled the game because Dak back. Aiden Hutchinson says his hello as the rookie has his fourth sack of the year in the first of two in the ball game. But don't worry, Dallas would start one of their own as Donovan Wilson comes off the third level. The safety comes flying in to get his sack, one of two for him on the ball game. And then, of course, only. Field goals early on for both teams into the two minute warning, but Dallas driving before the half. Dak finds Noah Brown, but Noah Brown flipped up in the air by Kirby Joseph and he fumbled the football, Nate. Wow, that was a physical hit right there, and it'd been hard for me to hold on to that one. Uh, that was a, a great pass, great catch. You just got to complete it, but he went through, and boy, that's scary. Both and teams trading field goals. Six to three was the score as the Lions took their three point lead into the halftime break, but they did start with the football after halftime. Jared Goff wanted to establish the deep ball, but instead he finds Trayvon Diggs turning back to the football, making the adjustment for his third interception of the year, and he gave Dallas the ball back in a key situation. All right, there. And he read it perfectly, man. Got his arms up under. A lot of people want to question. I think it was an interception, man. He reads the ball so well off the quarterback's hand. First drive following that interception, they established the run. Zeke had a big run. Then Tony Pollard had one of his own. Zach Martin walling off the right side of the offensive line for 28 yards, and Pollard gets into the red zone, and the Cowboys would cap it off down to the goal line after a pass interference call. Ezekiel Elliott pounds it in. His first touchdown of the day, and it gave Dallas a 10-6 lead into the fourth fourth quarter we go. The Lions had the football to start the period and they screened it to the right off the left side. Nearly a touchdown, but Micah Parsons in the hustle brings him down just in the nick of time. If you could have saw that earlier, he saw up. They saw him up for the screen. He was upfield. He ran past three people's right there to get him down on the one yard line. And that was a first and goal for the Lions. Next play, Jamal Williams diving in touchdown right. Not so fast. The ball comes out. It's recovered by Anthony Barr. Nearly a touchdown, but guess what? The Dallas defense holds strong on the goal line. Once again, they make play after play, man. This defense is hungry. Yeah, that was the second takeaway of the fourth quarter. And, well, here's the next one. Jordan Lewis up the middle makes the interception. Unfortunately, as he gets taken to the ground, he gets injured, did not return, but his interception sets up a touchdown for Zeke, his second of the ball game following an 11 play Dallas drive. The defense wasn't done just yet, though. You mentioned Sam Williams joining the party. He did so with a strip sack, the second one of the ball game, second sack of the ball game, that is for Williams. It led to another possession for the Cowboys, and of course, they put the cherry on top. Four plays later, Peyton Henderson 
shot on National Tight End Day, finds the back of the end zone. He's greeted by his fellow tight end and fellow rookie Jake Ferguson as the Cowboys hold on for a 24-6 win. They pull away late and 330 yards of total offense. It's better than the numbers we've seen throughout the season, but the defense was the storyline. Five sacks, five takeaways, and they held the number three scoring offense in the NFL to just six points overall in the win. When we come back here on Cowboys game night, it was the return of one Dak Prescott, number four, back behind center for the Cowboys. How did he think the game went, and how did he learn along the way when we come back right after this? This segment is brought to you by the Texas Lottery. If you have a lucky quarter, it could pay off big when you play the new Cowboys scratch ticket game from the Texas Lottery. Oh, it was great to see Dak Prescott back in the fold. His first game action since the season opener against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, a game where the Cowboys did not find their way into the end zone. Only three points on the board in week one. Well, Dak Prescott in his return, it took until the second half, but they put up 21 unanswered points to beat the Lions 24 to 6. Here's QB1 after the win. Uh, Dak, Tori, and Yahoo Sports, how did your first game back feel after six weeks? Where were you comfortable? Yeah, I felt great. Um, I felt comfortable with everything. Uh, thumb definitely didn't bother me. wasn't a thought in my head. Uh, felt like after a few throws, um, yeah, I was I was back into it. Um, and that 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 drive before uh, halftime, um, I felt like I, I made a few that just said, "Hey, we're 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 good to go. Don't think about anything again." And um, yeah, so I felt fine. But this is about the team. This is a great team win. Uh, this is what I've been watching for the last five weeks. This defense, the special teams. Um, and just us playing complimentary football, and it was just uh, it's just great to be back and be a part of it. Were you juiced on that first throw, Lil Hodges? No. Honestly, when I came out, there's supposed to be a, um, a tight end also getting free, got uh, knocked off, I guess, on his route. And initially in my head, I was thinking to run, and then Noah flashes, uh, and then so that's kind of while the ball placement was there. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously you want that back, but then again, it's part of maybe next time I run, I'll probably still be running. So. You mentioned the defense. What's the value of a defense that can play like this one does every week and takes the ball away so often to a quarterback like you? Yeah, it's huge. Um, it, 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 you understand the overall the overall picture of this game and knowing that our defense is going to help us out, and it's important for us to to pay to. Um, to make sure those turnovers pay off or those long kick returns, as we weren't able to do that one or punt return that one that uh, Turpin had, um, but. Just knowing that, just play within the game. Uh, don't try to do too much. Know that you've got, as I said, a defense to help you out. Uh, if it's third down, you've got to throw it away, live for another down, um, and play the field position. Uh, and these guys, we, we know when we score touchdowns and we get ahead, these guys can pin their ears back and uh, go do what they do and create turnovers. Patrick. Hey, Dak. Patrick Walker, DallasCowboys.com. Can you talk a little bit about what it means for the defense to, as far as getting them juiced up to be able to reward their takeaways with the touchdowns? Yeah, that's playing complimentary football. When those guys go out there and get turnovers, uh, it's important for us to make sure that we get points out of that. Uh, that's how you win games, and that's how you, you, you blow games, uh, blow them away, honestly. And um, the way this D-line and the way the secondary and just the linebackers, honestly, the, the, the whole group, just the way that how hungry they are, the way that they attack. Uh, special C, as I said, is something that I saw, obviously, in training camp. I've seen it in these last five weeks, and it's just great to be able to go out there and, and uh, be a part of them. Jack, Mike Leslie from WFA. Early on in the football game, there were a couple of instances where you threw into double coverage, maybe triple coverage. How much of that was just kind of being amped up and wanting to go out there and make a play? And how did you feel about how you eventually settled in and found your spot? Um, yeah, I think uh, once I made some some throws and I knew my, as I said, my, my, my thumb was good and I felt like I had the spin back that, that I've, I've had and the confidence. Uh, some of those throws were just overconfident in a sense. And um, yeah, I, I've got a guard against that. Um, yeah, just because sometimes it can lead to turnovers, and that's the last thing I'm trying to do is put this team or put this, uh, yeah, put this team in a bad position because I'm overconfident. And as I said, when you have a defense like this, understand, just continue to go through the reads, uh, take a check down here and there, and uh, it'll pay off. So it wasn't pretty always for the Dallas Cowboys on offense in their win over Detroit, but Dak Prescott in his return knocked off a little bit of the rust, and then the third third down struggles continued to compound like they have over the last couple of weeks, and they only had the one turnover, and that was Noah Brown flipping into the red zone and got upended, and because of so, he lost the football. Back here with Nate Newton, and what were your thoughts on the offense today? Things didn't go well early on, but they found a rhythm late. 
Yeah, just like you said, I mean, things didn't go right early on, but, you know, and he threw that ball into double coverage. One of them was triple coverage. It should have been an interception, but nothing happened bad. And then we went in at halftime, and they spoke amongst each other, all the offensive minds, and they got together and said, hey, let's get back to our run game. Let's let down and distance dictate how we do it, did it. And Dak went along with it, and you saw, hey, in the end, it was a victory. Going back to that season opener against Tampa Bay, there had been 15 drives this season led by Dak Prescott without a touchdown until that third quarter, and the Cowboys finally found their way in the end zone. Then they did it two more times after that. Three total scores for the Cowboys, one through the air for Dak Prescott as he was back in the fold. But when we come back, we hear from owner, president, and GM Jerry Jones on the state of this defense and the Cowboys win over the Detroit Lions. This segment was brought to you by the Texas Lottery. If you have a lucky quarter, it could pay off big when you play the new Cowboys scratch ticket game from the Texas Lottery. Welcome back into Cowboys game night as the Cowboys get a 24 to 6 win over the Detroit Lions. Let's go back out to AT&T Stadium and hear from Cowboys owner Jerry Jones. Is it all? Listen, uh, just any questions. Uh, uh, that was really a, a tough ball game of, if you will, will. And uh, they gave us everything that we could hope uh, wanted or not uh, would want. Uh, but that drive in the third quarter. I think really showed a lot of resolve and uh, uh, really uh, uh, showed the, the will of the team. And so uh, I'm proud of them. I'm proud for Dak. I'm proud of the uh, guys that made the plays. Uh, uh, Williams to come in there and have his game that he had. Uh, young players, uh, they get to feel it. They know they can do it. We're going to build from that. So uh, really an outstanding game, a tough game. Who would have thought a game would be that tough? And that score ended up like it did, but that's what happened. What do you think about Dak's performance? Oh, I thought Dak uh, did. I thought the way Dak played was the team. The team had that. They, we had tough competition out there. We were, uh, they were making it hard for us any way you wanted to measure. And I thought we uh, hung in there. We, at the end of the day, you probably can say we depend on the turnovers. But what you could say is that uh, that defense, uh, the skills, of the defense prevail to let us make those big plays, let us make those turnovers, uh, and then Turpin really provide this. Uh, uh, really, if you will, uh, I think you just know it's there. When's it coming? And so uh, that helps you in a football game. There were a couple moments early on in the game where Dak seemed to kind of force it into double coverage, triple coverage. Do you think he was maybe just a little bit pressing in his first game back? What would you make of that early moments and how did he bounce back? Yeah, I, I don't uh, really uh, uh, know. Uh, um, he certainly could give you an answer on that. I agree with you. Uh, 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 it, it was in harm's way there two or three times. But, uh, boy, what I did soon do is get that ball down there and get it in the way that you could have those 20-plus uh, yard plays, and we did. And uh, Dak made the difference in that area today. Okay, guys, we'll get in there and get to them. That's where you want Get their story. They did a great job. Jerry Jones, very quick and to the point when talking about complimentary football with his Cowboys as they get the win 24 to 6 over the Lions. And it was the defense that set the tone. Mike McCarthy called them the thermostat of this team a couple weeks ago, and that continues to stay strong. What were your thoughts on the defense and how they performed here on Sunday? They're awesome, man. I mean, led by Parsons. And like, like we said earlier, you know, your boy Sam uh, Williams got in on it. Uh, Donovan Wilson, once again, he got him a sack. Uh, Jay, uh, Lewis got him an interception, too uh, unfortunate that he hurt himself. But I'm, I'm telling you, man, if we can continue to play within the parameters of always thinking about our defense and making sure that they don't have too many short fields, these guys can be very, very dominant. So with the, the run game being such a talking point with this defense and the run defense still laps a, a little bit throughout the season, they gave up 117 yards on the ground today. Were you satisfied with the way that they stopped the run or is that still a problem spot? Yes, I mean, 
you, you can give up some things when you're turning the ball over and when you're getting sacks. You can, of course, you're giving our offense a short field. You're giving them an extra possession, so you can give up some things. But as we play better teams later in the season, when it counts the most, you have to kind of shore that up. You, whether you have to do it with run blitz, bringing an extra guy, setting the safety up on the line, you have to stop that because you don't want to give a team a two-way go. And speaking of improving in certain areas for whenever it does get tougher later in the season, Zach Martin and that offensive line certainly know that they have some improvement to be made as well. And we'll hear from Zach when we come back with more Cowboys game night. The Cowboys get the win 24 to 6. We talk offensive line right after this. Dak Prescott back in the fold, and there were times throughout their 24-6 win against the Lions that Prescott was under pressure, sacked twice, both by rookie Aiden Hutchinson on the other side of the football, but that offensive line continues to improve, and some youth up front needs to continue to take that extra step forward. Not so much for Zach Martin. He continued to do all pro work. Here's his thoughts after the game. Again, we just can't beat ourselves. Penalties, a turnover in the red zone, it's just... Uh, once we start cleaning that up, and, and uh, you know, I think we'll like what we see a lot more offensive. But we're a work in progress, and uh, we did enough to win. We ran the ball pretty effectively, and uh, again, our defense was lights out again. So uh, we found a way to win. So that's an important thing. What's well, something Detroit was doing in the first half that was giving you guys more problems than maybe you expected? I mean, I don't think <clears throat> they didn't really play what we thought they were going to play. They obviously did some some self scouting over their bye week and. Um, the fronts were the same, but we, we saw a lot more movement on, on tape, and um, they really didn't they really didn't move all that much. So um, we were moving the ball well. We just have to finish drives. So that, that that's definitely gonna be a point of emphasis this week is just uh, finishing those drives. Oh, yeah. I mean, we have all the confidence in our in the world in our defense to get after the quarterback, to create turnovers, to. Um, you know, hold the the opposing offense. So, um, again, we, we, we did enough offensively, but uh, our defense definitely stood out today. One thing Dan Quinton said about the defense last week, that they were pissed off. Could you see that in the week of practice, that they were a little pissed off of what happened? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Maybe I think a little personal they, uh, last week, although, you know, we didn't do much last week to help them either, so I don't think they did that bad. But, um, you know, they're, they're a special group. It's as good a defense as I've ever um you know, been a part of here in Dallas. So uh, they're fun to watch. They're tough to go against in practice. And, uh, you know, they do, do a great job playing together. <laughs> Who's that, us? Yeah, I think, um, you know, it's been the same since, I, since I've been here. I think, you know, people <clears throat> think that we just, especially early on, that we were just killing people in the run game. And, in my experience, this is it. You, you, you run it, it's, it's kind of dirty early, and then they start breaking as the game goes on. And uh, credit to Kellen and those guys for sticking with it. And we were able to hit some big ones there in the second half, especially. 21 points in the second half for the Cowboys en route to a 24-6 win. Still some improvement needed on a couple different areas of this Cowboys roster, but they move forward at a 5-2 record. I think anybody in Cowboys Nation would certainly take the win. When we come back, Nate Newton and I will wrap things up and we'll look ahead to Chicago in week eight of the NFL season. Dallas Cowboys Game Night was presented by AT&T, the official 5G innovation partner of the Dallas Cowboys, Reliant, an NRG company, and by NFL Game Pass. You'll never miss a game again. Enjoy full and condensed game replays from week one to the Super Bowl. The Cowboys become just the fifth team in the NFL to hit five wins on the 2022 season with a 24 to six win over the Detroit Lions at AT&T Stadium. As we wrap things up here on Cowboys game night with Nate Newton, I'm Kyle Yeomans. The Cowboys facing another NFC North foe next week in the Chicago Bears. Certainly places to improve. Where do you start? Oh, I start with the offensive line, man. You know, just make sure we work with the young guy, Ty Tyler Smith, get his foots right and we'll be okay. 
Of course, that Chicago front seven certainly still very good and going to get after it. No Khalil Mack like the last time the Cowboys saw the Bears, but certainly something to keep an eye on. But they got the job done today. They pull away late against the Detroit Lions in a 24-6 win. For Nate Newton, I'm Kyle Yeomans. Thanks for joining us here on Cowboys Game Night. We'll see you next week.